Hey, how's everybody doing today? So I had to remake this video because of the barrage of feedback on my Discord server by new members. This is 154 and change. A couple of things changed up on it. And I am naming it accurately, a science officer playing tack. So everything's linked below. This is not a meta build his terminology Ugh. so we got a particle emissions torpedo up front enhanced bio molecular photon torpedo up front gravision photon torpedo gravitic excuse me three pieces of the temporal space set Deflector dish, warp core, and shield. Boost to damage over time. And drain expertise when I use my captain science ability. Next item is a crafted item. It's a deteriorating secondary deflector. Control exotic drain shield a more exotic prevailing engines innovative engines temporal warp core which gives me a little trajectory jump temporal shields Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo. And the console, I am using the Lorca console, so the 1% critical severity buff for 20 seconds stacks up to 25 times. Thoron Infused Quantum Mine Launcher, re engineered to crit D times 4, crit D da damage. Modulating competitive mine launcher. Um, this one's interesting because the longer it doesn't do damage, it just sits there, it does more damage. Lorca's custom fire control for the dark matter torpedo set. From the Titan, the opening salvo, it has exotic particle and weapon specialization. Then we have the swarmer matrix for that plus 50 projectile weapon. I don't really care about the rest. Assimilator module, crit chance, crit severity, damage control, and control expertise. Then from the Maquis Raider, we have the Plasma Storm, exotic particle generators, and control expertise. We have one restorative particle focuser, and then we have three exotic particle focusers. The difference between the two the one that I'm moused over right now adds an extra tick to a damage over time if you have one. Ordnance Accelerator from Rep. Feckler Tormented Engine for all of its goodies and bonuses. And one Spire Vulnerability Locator for Mine Weapon Damage. As far as the traits go, we got conservation of energy going, unconventional systems, superior projectile training, operative, Terran targeting systems, intelligence agents cache, Psychological Warfare. Hot Pursuit for my minds. Resonating Payload Modifications. And Self Modulating Fire. As for Starship Traits. Spore Infused Anomalies. 
Subspatial Warheads, Checkmate, Intertwined Tactical Matrices, which I no longer need, but I forgot to take off the build, Ceaseless Momentum, and Electrified Anomalies. Space Rep, we have both Omega Gravitic Amplification and Omega Kinetic Shearing. Magnified Firepower. Auxiliary Power Configurator for damage. And the Chrono Capacitor for cooldown. So kick back and enjoy the run. It was pretty good. As far as my duty officers before I leave, I didn't change them. Improve uh, Kinetic Damage. Crit Chance Buff. I got 32 of 47. That ups your stats. Um... Recharge time to mines and two deflector officers. And just to be clear, there's a concept build science using tack abilities, and it is not a meta build. I hate that blinding ability. Here I do struggle a little bit at first. But then when things start going, they start going. And just to be clear, I do non-meta builds. I will never follow the meta. I'm not the cookie cutter guy. I'm my own guy. If you like it, like it. If you don't, that's on you. Everything gone. Now true, I can add like a duty officer for a chance for a second gravity well, like was suggested to me. I can make the build all clickies if I want and then do like four or five hundred K right um, but I'm me I'm different I'm off meta and I still say you know people that do nanny runs and say they're not nanny those are the guys you gotta go after if it's your first time here subscribe if you'd like Drop a like, drop a comment, join me on the Discord, follow me on Twitch. Peace, y'all.